Hi everyone, I'm Alyssa. And I'm Preston. And this is your weekly social. So Preston, today we're gonna talk about Snapchat. But not just Snapchat, Snapchat for the holiday season because October is almost over and then it's November and then we have Thanksgiving and then it's Christmas. Except this year there's a general notice of because of ongoing supply chain issues. Maybe now you want to start your uh, holiday shopping, which is interesting. I mean, there's the trope about it being early, but I think this is the first time in a while that deliberately yeah. you should buy your stuff early this year. And so with that, uh, looking at Snapchat, there are a lot of different businesses that are looking to advertise on Snapchat, especially for the holiday season this year. There's a lot of murmurings that Snapchat is going to be the platform for the holiday season 2021, mm -hmm. which is kind of left with a bit of mixed thoughts, at least on our end. I personally, like, I feel like there are too many ads on the platform. Uh, and so if it gets flooded with more, I don't know how beneficial that'll be for them, but you had some interesting articles to talk so, about. So there was a research firm, Dentsu, and also one called Lumen. They did attention research and attention economy research of what ads give the best attribution uh, and hold people's attention and remembrance. And it was Snapchat's commercial ads, which ended up being the ones, the six second unskippable ads that uh, they're like, by far, these are the best commercials on the platform right now. But if you read more, and especially based on that first one, it is a unskippable ad on a platform. So in our mind, that's a, yeah, it probably is gonna <laughs> hold your attention really more. So like, we don't know if, because they remember the brand, they're more likely to choose it, just from a brand awareness uh, and retention. Uh, those ads do very well, which is great. However, there was also another one by Wool & Water, kind of a state of shopper uh, consumer interest that people aren't so keen on Snapchat. AR, augmented reality, is, and VR, virtual reality, are things that have kind of been buzzwords that exist uh, in, in the main stay, but this report says even with Snapchat releasing their own AR functions, people want less of Snapchat being the platform, but more diversity and options for AR, VR, interactive shopping experiences. You maybe have experienced um, AR on a lot of different platforms. Amazon is a pretty good example of that. Uh, you can look at different items and, for example, a desk or a dresser or even sometimes just other things that kind of are a bit too big and you want to know, how would this look in my space? Well, you can actually use that AR function on Amazon and see what it looks like in your space. And it's actually pretty cool. I've tested it. If you have Amazon on your phone, go ahead and test it. And Preston, you had brought up something with a QR code when you were shopping for toys. That's another example where if you scan that QR code, you can see all the details of the toys, the different ins and outs. Um, and that's something to really look at um, when it comes to businesses doing that because it's more engaging for the user. It's another way to showcase your product in a light that is useful. And it's not just, here's some cute pictures, it's a stock photo or anything like that, white background. It's, this is what it looks like in your home. This is what it can look like inside out with these at different features added onto it. Or for those of you who have played things like Pokemon Go or that Harry Potter world, that's another variation, an example of that AR function that people have done. A lot of the games have really kind of pushed the needle on what exactly interactivity means, what we want to do. Uh, Pokemon Go in particular is probably the pioneer right now that's had the most work put into it kind of since 2016. They've continually updated, so like even to the point where if I wanted to, uh, I could have Pikachu in my chair right now jumping around on top of me. But something we talked about, I had a QR code, but other things to think about are what exactly would shopping in a brick and mortar store Mm -hmm. with AR look like? How do we do that better? How do we think through that? 
is there an advertising capacity for that? Or even just like, is there something that, let's say Walmart rolls out? Oh yeah, we have a limited stock of these guys. What does the thing look like out of the box? Or, yeah. okay, there's a big black chair that I really want, but doesn't fit my colors. What does the white one look like? It's like, there, there seems to be a lot of possibility, but I find it absolutely fascinating that from a shopper standpoint, a lot of people that are actual consumers are like, we want more AR. We want more interactivity. And, and for my personal experience, it's, it's a way to kind of, in those moments, feel like you're in the store without actually having to leave the comfort of your home. And that is something to consider when it comes to advertising. How can you get your customers, your ideal customer, to still purchase, whether they go to your physical store, if there is one, or if they're browsing on your website or on an app, if you have um, an app that people can access, such as Amazon or even other big brands, um, American Eagle, how can you utilize that AR experience to both advertise, but also just to showcase your product? And it looks like Snapchat is trying to be that, like filling the void for now. Like they, they're definitely, doing their best to be that innovator. And it's fascinating to me that it looks like they are almost being rejected. They were in Congress this week with a few others testifying uh, about like teenagers in the space. Uh, Facebook, Instagram got railed and now it was everyone else's turn. So there's public sentiment against large social media platforms and it's trickling down even into shopping, which is fascinating. Part of our philosophy as Pullman Marketing is you'd never want to sit on a single platform. You want to make sure that you diversify your options, which of course, uh, if you're struggling figuring out how you want to advertise for uh, holiday 2021, feel free to reach out to us at uh, PullmanMarketing.com. There are a lot of fun ways to advertise for anything that you do. AR experience is one of them, social media is another. There are so many things that we can explore uh, and we'll keep following this and everything else as uh, the week goes on. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to hit the bell, like, comment, subscribe. And play with AR this week. Yeah, try it out, it's really cool. Especially on Amazon. I may or may not have decided some things. You need to open up Pokemon <laughs> Go again. It's It's time. <laughs> or if not Pokemon, there's a Harry Potter version. Try it out, see if you like it, and see if that's something that you'd want in your daily, weekly, monthly shopping experience with uh, everything else going on. Yeah. But thanks, guys. See you next week.